Okay, now let us take a look at ternary operators in Java. So why we use ternary operators are it's like a substitution for if else statement. Uh, we sometimes the programmers may feel that uh, an if else statement is lengthy and they can go ahead and use uh, ternary operators. So the ternary operator takes this form variable is equal to expression one question mark expression two colon expression three. So how this works is first expression one will be evaluated. If this expression returns true, then what happens is this particular expression will be evaluated and that value will be assigned to the variable. So if this expression one is true, then expression two will be evaluated and that value will be assigned to the variable result here. If this expression results in a false, say if this expression evaluates to false, then what happens is the value of expression 3 will be assigned to result. To understand this better, let us substitute this with some values. So we'll give result is equal to, so for expression 1, let me say, let me compare, say if a is greater than 10, so that's my expression 1 question mark if a is greater than 10 i'm going to assign 15 to result or else i'm going to assign 20. so what it means is first it's going to evaluate this expression if a is greater than 10 15 gets assigned to result if a is not greater than 10 if this returns a false then 20 gets assigned to result so this is the ternary operator and we have used that in other programming languages like C and C++ too. It's very easy. So we'll go and code this particular example here. Let's see how it works in Eclipse. Let's go to Eclipse. Okay, let's try that here. Let's start with the variable A. So it's int A. We'll have the variable A to be 25. Some value will initialize it here. We'll have this result variable to initialize to zero and uh, result is going to hold the result. Now we'll go to the ternary operator. So result is equal to and the expression here a is greater than 15. So this is the ex expression. If a is greater than 15, we're going to assign 10 to the result. If a is not greater than 15, we'll assign 20 to the result. So that's it. Our ternary expression is done. We'll finally print the result out using this out statement. So we'll print result out. This is the simple program. Let's go and save it, run it. So you can see the output here. So the output is 10 because is a greater than 15? The value of a is 25. It is greater than 15. So 10 gets assigned to result. So when this expression evaluates to true, this value will be assigned. And let's take the other way around. Say let's uh, give a value to be 5. So when, when a is 5, this expression will be false. a is not greater than 15. So 20 should be assigned to the result or output should be 20. Let's go and save this. Every time you make a change, save it and run. So what will be the value of result that will be shown to the user? 20. So that's how you use a ternary operator. You've just seen a very simple example on ternary operation. So I have given the sample program here too. So now let's take an exercise. This exercise is if mark is greater than equal to 40. So we have an expression here. If this expression is true, what we have to do is we have to say Past past should be assigned to the result. If this expression is false, if mark is anything less than 40, then result should be displayed as failed. So can you take up this exercise now? Uh, let me go and code this one. So it's a very simple program. So we have a mark field and uh, we'll have some marks here, say 45. And we have a result field it's of type string so what should be the result if mark is, if, so what should be the result if mark is greater than 45 result should be passed so result is equal to we'll give the expression here mark 
if it is greater than or equal to 40 then question mark the result should be passed else if, in, if it is less than 40 what we have to assign if it is less than 40 it should be failed so let's give failed. so our program is done let's go and print the result out so the result is printed here so we have taken we have assumed mark to be 45 so it comes here and checks is marks greater than or equal to 40 this evaluates to true so past gets assigned to result if you have anything less than 40 here failed will be assigned to result let's execute this yeah passed so we'll execute it with a 5 so this expression will evaluate to false so we'll have failed getting assigned to result save it and run it so the output should be failed yeah Let's go to the uh, yeah I have given the program here again for your reference so this is another exercise say so what what I am saying here is we read mark if mark is greater than or equal to 40 then add 10 to mark so it's like uh, we read some mark and if mark is 40 that is if mark is greater than or equal to 40 what we have to do is we have to do mark plus 10 if mark is not greater than 40 if it is less than 40 what we have to do is we have to add mark plus 20 so this should be our result when this condition is true or else this should be our result so why I have taken this is just to explain this particular concept. What we have seen here is we have seen expression 1, expression 2, expression 3. Just to say that this is also an expression and this is also an expression, we have taken that example. So let me... So we will try and code this, we will understand this. So it's a very simple thing. We'll read some mark. So we'll have mark to be 45, and uh, we'll have a result to int result is equal to zero. Now result is equal to. We are just checking whether mark is greater than or equal to 40. If this is true, what we have to do? We have to do mark plus 10. So we can have an expression here. That's what is the meaning of this exercise. If mark is less than 40, what we are going to do? Mark plus 20. Our ternary operator is done. We will go and print our output. So that is result. So when I run this, I am taking the value to be 45. So it checks whether mark is greater than or equal to 40. Yes, it's true. So it does mark plus 10. So 55 should be assigned to the result. Let me run this one out. If I have mark to be 5, what will happen? This expression will evaluate to false. So mark plus 20 will be done. That is nothing but 25 will be given to the result. Yeah, you see the result 25. So we have taken many examples with uh, ternary operators. Uh, let's go forward. Let's take a look, look at nested ternary operators. Uh, we all know what is nested if else. You would have used nested if else in C, C++ or in any other uh, programming languages, even in Python. So what is a nested ternary operator? It's like substitution for a nested if else. And uh, let's take this particular program to understand that. Say we are reading marks. If mark is greater than 80, if it's greater than or equal to 80, we'll print that to be an A grade. Or else, if that mark is between 60 and 80, we'll print that to be a B grade. For any other mark, it will be a C grade. So normally, we know what an if else is, right? If condition and then else. Again, we'll have if some condition like that. So we'll have a, a nesting of if else here. So we can really substitute that with a single line of code using nested ternary operators. But what they advise is we should not overdo this nesting. 
we can go in for one level of uh, nested ternary operator because it becomes very hard to understand the program if you're going to use multiple levels of nested ternary operators. So we'll see how we can achieve this program uh, using ternary operators in Java. Let's go to Eclipse. So it's a very simple program. We're going to have int mark and we'll take some marks here, say 60. Eight, something like that we need to print the grades in the result so we'll use a character here so character result and now comes the actual operator so result is equal to first what you're going to check is whether mark is greater than equal to 80 if mark is greater than equal to 80 what we are going to do is we are going to print the grade a the next condition we have to check is okay if mark is not greater than or equal to 80 is mark within this range that is mark greater than or equal to 60 we have to use the and operator and mark less than 80 so if this expression if mark is not greater than 80 it's going to come and check here if mark is within this range what we are going to do again a question mark and then we are going to print the grade D. So even if this expression returns a false, then what we have to do, we have to print C. That's it. So this is called nesting. So we are having a condition here. If this condition is true, A gets assigned. If the mark is not greater than or equal to 80, then this expression gets evaluated. If this is true, B grade gets assigned to result or else even if this is false, then C grade gets assigned to result. Let's go and print the result out. So, okay, so what should be the output here? We have marked to be 68. So here, this will be false. So it'll come and execute and check. Okay, mark is 68, it's within this range. So this expression returns a true. So B grade will be assigned to result. So our output should be B, Let's go and execute this. If you give mark to be anything less than 60, say 45, what should be the output? The output should be C. Let's go and check that. Let's execute this. Yeah, if mark is greater than 80, say whenever you're testing your program, check it for all the cases. That's why I'm just giving it as 85 here. Let's run this one. Yeah, okay. Yeah. So our program works fine. And this is an example for a nested ternary operator in Java. Please keep that in mind. Do not overdo this operator because it makes the program a very difficult to maintain. That's all about ternary operators. Thank you.